Welcome to Chokes, Volume 1. What we're going to do today is do several different chokes from several different positions on the ground. Now there is technically a difference between chokes, strangulations, and neck locks. Although they all take place in about the same vicinity, there is a difference. So I want to just go up and cover that difference before we get started. First of all, if I'm here and you try to cut off the air, his ability to breathe, that is technically a choke. So if I'm here like this and I pull right against his windpipe and tie in like that, that's a choke. It's very uncomfortable, very painful. Where if you try to cut off the flow of blood, uh, flow of oxygen through the blood by compressing or putting pressure on the sides of the neck, that is technically a strangulation. Now a neck lock is where you twist the upper spine by twisting the head like this and then apply pressure, say up like this. That's a neck lock, locking this part of his body. Now while they all may look generally the same, they're, they're different. What we're going to do today is technically strangulations. Now that's where we're going to work most of the pressure on the sides of the neck to cut off the flow of blood and oxygen to the brain. Uh, these are safer and more efficient. 